Hello everyone and welcome to Tell Chef Defects in Photoshop class. My name is Adam and I'm so excited to share with you guys in this class different techniques to create that beautiful small world illusion in Photoshop. So the goal of this class is to show you three different techniques to create that beautiful tail shift effects in Photoshop. So we're going to do the manual way, we're going to do the automatic way, and we will do the lens correction sort of more creative way. I'm going to be using Photoshop 2021 and I do understand that a lot of you guys don't have access to Photoshop CC 20 or 21, which means any version of Photoshop CC is good for this class. Now if you are excited about creating that beautiful miniature Lego looking world, see you inside the class. Okay guys, now with the automatic way, very easy. So just click on open, select this image under the folder that you downloaded, duplicate the background, okay, no need to change the name this time. And then with the duped layer selected, I'm gonna go to filter, whoops, filter, here we go, blur, gallery, and then tilt and shift, okay. Now, I can just click here on the middle, okay, and then just drag it to the area that I want to be in focus, okay? Everything else is going to be blurred. And so you can adjust the blur of the picture by dragging these dotted line. I'm not sure if you can see them or not, but as you can see right here, I'm dragging some dotted dotted lines so i want the blur like this and the blur like this okay and of course i can increase the blur using this circle there we go something like this let's see mm -hmm. there you go once you're happy, you can just click OK. Now, what I can do is click on Brush. I have my soft brush right here selected. Decrease the opacity a little bit. OK. Make the background visible again. Click on Mask. And then with the Mask layer selected and the brush, I'm just going to draw like this, okay? Because I hate having those sharp, blurry edges, okay? Just fixing them like this. There we go. If I hold Alt or Option and click on the mask, you can see my selection. And now, of course, you can add some saturation. I'm just gonna add a little bit of saturation because this image is quite saturated. Four. Okay. And then I'm going to select the layer one, right click, convert to smart objects, right click again, rasterize layer, and then I'm going to go to filter, sharpen. Smart Sharpen and leave it like this. Okay, and here you have it, guys. Okay, smooth transition between the blurred area and the focus area. Okay, now you understand why earlier in the previous lecture we did use the gradient to make a mask. Okay, because the gradient allows us to have that smooth transition between the blur and the focus area without having to manually do it using a mask and a brush. Okay, so that was pretty much it. On the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a bit more creativity using the lens correction.